Today I will show you two ways how you can remove a green screen in DaVinci Resolve for your iPad. For solution number one you need the edit page and for solution number two you need the fusion page. If you don't have those pages I made a video how you can unlock them even without a keyboard on your iPad DaVinci Resolve. I copy a link in the description. Let's start with the edit page. Go to effects and here under effects you can scroll down to open effects and here under open effects, go to resolve FX key and use the 3D key and drag it to your clip. I will show you something later here. That's why I'm using two now at the moment. The first clip is just a simple green screen. So go to inspector and change to effects. And here you see now the open effects that we added. And the difference between the iPad version and the, the desktop version is usually you just click here the picker. Oh yeah, before you can do this with the picker, you have to change this longer press here and go to open fx overlay and now you can draw in where your color your green your your chroma key is you use this one here but what you will notice now on the ipad version at the same time while i'm drawing i'm also moving the workaround is that you use the minus and the plus pickers and just hit point by point i will show you this later oh let's let's just move into this one just so you see here oops Let's go back. Here the same thing. You can draw in and you have a green area here as well. So you can just hit the plus icon here. Sometimes it's recognized or sometimes not. What you can do if it's hard because let's say you have different shades of green, what you usually have, you can scroll down here and then under output, go to alpha highlight black and white. And now under matte fineness, thinness, however I pronounce that, you find clean black and you can increase the value of clean black and you see now how the screen be so if we go back here to final compose we see the greens the black screen here but we still have some green dots and the the corners and how you can change that is it's called spilling over <laughs> not spilling over but uh, despill yeah, actually, it's spilling over, <laughs> so the green is spilling over to the edge, and you can remove this here under behavior options, and you can change the value from the spill, and if you increase this, the green will gone will be gone. I already put something on the background, so if we now hit play, this one is working now, and if we unlock this one and see that one, we still have the green line for this one here, so I go in here, do the same, the spill. For my eagle and you see how the green lines are disappearing and this is version one solution number two let's go to the fusion page and here on the fusion page click this one and if you have the keyboard you can actually hit shift and space and this little tool will come up and you can you can look for delta if you don't have a keyboard then let's just cancel this one you can go here to effects and you can also hit here and search for Delta as well Check. and you can just apply that one so if you are in Delta let's close not the notes let's close the effects so if you are here on the Delta what you can do now is you can select a background color here so here I can use the picker and go for my green boom done and you already see that it's cutting out this one and if you have the same problem like before if it's like a shade of green what you can do is you can change here to mate and you can change the threshold for the beginning and bring it in and also for the highlights and bring it in and this should usually clean up the image pretty well and let's just activate this clip here and if you see now we have the same result like in option one. If you like this video, hit like, subscribe, ding on the bang bang gong, and I'm Daniel. See you in the next video.